Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Budget Meals. Today we're going to be making some homemade refried beans. Now the ingredients only cost me $8.10, it serves six, so per portion it's only going to cost you $1.35. So let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do to get started on our refried beans just into a pot, I'm going to be adding in some butter. And to the butter, I'm going to be adding in some onions that I've just roughly chopped up. Next, I'm going to add in some garlic, again, that I've just roughly chopped up. Now, I'm going to add in some spices to the onion and the garlic and the butter. First one is I've got some ground coriander seed. I'm just going to add that in. Next, I've got some ground chili. And lastly, some ground cumin seeds. Now, I'm just gonna give this a mix around and I'm going to cook it nice and slow for about 15 minutes, okay? And I want those onions to really take on the flavor of the spice and just go nice and translucent, nice and soft. We don't wanna burn the onions at all. We really want to do this slowly. So my onions have been cooking for about 15 minutes, nice and slow. And what you'll find is that that butter will just dry up and it'll look like your mixture's getting quite dry. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to be adding in just a small amount of water just to add back in some moisture. And after the water, I'm going to be adding in some fresh coriander leaves. I'm just going to sprinkle them around. And again, we're just going to mix this through. Now guys, with refried beans, of course, we're gonna be using some beans. And if you've got the time and the patience, if you want to, you can get some pinto beans and you can put them in some water overnight. Me, I'm gonna take the easy way because I'm guessing that's what most of you will do. And what I've got here in a bowl is I've already got some beans in uh, from a can that have already been soaked and they're ready to go. And I'm just gonna add in the beans just a small amount at a time, not all at once. And be very, very careful. You don't want to burn yourself doing this, but just getting a fork, I want you to mix, just crush those beans in with that mixture. And once we've crushed these beans and mixed them in, then add some more, repeat the process, add some more, repeat the process. So once we've crushed up our beans, it'll be quite thick, but thick, but it will also be quite wet. And we want most of that moisture out of the pan. And for about six to seven minutes, I'm just gonna stir this and keep stirring this until most of that moisture is gone and we're left with a nice sort of thick mixture. So this is what we're after, just sort of this still wet, but it's thickened up. Now this is all we have to do. So let's bowl this bad boy up. Now to finish off, I'm just gonna be putting a dollop of some sour cream just on the top and some more of that coriander as well. So this is just my very easy, quick version of some refried beans. And there's so many things you can use this for and I'll be showing you what, we, what else we can use it for later in the week on Fast Food Friday. So let's get stuck into some of this. Let's give it a try. We'll get some of that sour cream, coriander. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Such fantastic flavors in your mouth. So clean as well. That is really, really good. And that chili right at the end just goes bang. Love it. As always, the ingredients are below. Just check it out. You guys take care. And I'll see you this Wednesday for What You Want Wednesday. So make sure you get your recipe requests into my Twitter or Facebook pages. So until then, take care.